In part one of this screencast, let's introduce XAML by using a tool including the Windows Presentation Foundation SDK that we call XAMLpad. So what you're seeing here is in the bottom pane, uh, you see a live view of XAML. Let's go ahead and edit it. And in the top pane, what you'll see is the real-time representation of that XAML. So in this case, as I've set the background property on the page element to black, you'll notice the background changed to black. I can set this to light blue. It's now light blue. Let's go ahead and set this to a more neutral tone, and I'll set it to a light gray using hexadecimal syntax. Let's start by first uh, displaying one of my photos from my recent vacation into Thailand and Cambodia. So we'll start by creating an image. We'll set the source property to a, uh, an image that's directly on my hard drive. And you'll see we'll now display this image of a sunset. Uh, so this looks okay. Let's start, let's uh, do a little better and we'll go ahead and wrap a border around our image. And uh, you'll notice that we do this just by creating a new border element and having the image contained within it. But what I want to do is, is set a thickness on this border to let's say 10 and we'll use a white brush to draw around it. So now you'll see that we've got this new uh, white border being drawn around it, but I've got gray space in between because the border is being stretched the entire width of the page. We can fix this by setting the horizontal and uh, vertical alignment properties both to center on the border. And what this does is centers the border itself within the, uh, its parent, the page. So the border will now stay in the exact center of the page as will its contents. So now we've got type borders on the image. Uh, let's also do, uh, let's, let's make sure, what I want to do with this image is uh, make it a square. So I'll change the height and width both to be 100. But you'll notice what's happening now is that uh, we're not actually filling up the 100 by 100 space because the image is scaling uh, and preserving its aspect ratio. We can change this by setting the stretch property. And in this case, I said it's a stretch equals fill. And what this does is fills the entire, the entire 100 by 100 space, but we've lost the aspect ratio preservation. Uh, we can take a compromise here and set the property value to uniform to fill. And what this has done is uh, kept the aspect ratio but ends up cropping the part of the image that doesn't fill the space. That doesn't look bad. Let's, uh, let's make this look a little better by, we'll add a corner radius of 10. And what that does is give us a nice little rounded corners look, very Web 2.0. And we can do a little better here by, uh, let's go ahead and set a layout transform. And we do this using a, a syntax we call property element syntax. And in this case, I've got a layout transform property on uh, the border element and I'm setting it by using the property element syntax as you see here. So this is useful for cases in which your property is more than a simple string such as white and rather you need to be able to set the property to be another element. So in this case I'm setting the, the layout transfer property to be this object called rotate transform which has an angle property. I can change here. In this case I've made a negative 5 and I've rotated the image slightly differently. So that's not looking bad for one picture but really we probably want to do we do probably want to display more than one picture. And let's take this as a, a, a time to introduce some of the panels. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut this out and save it to the clipboard. And we'll start by creating a stack panel. So a stack panel is a basic panel that uh, will just stack things horizontally or vertically. So let's go ahead and paste a few copies of this image in. And you'll see now that I have these images and they're just being stacked vertically. I can change the zoom here in XAMLpad. And you'll notice that as I zoom out, we can see all these images that have been stacked vertically. Stack panel has a, another property called orientation, and you can set that to, uh, instead of vertical, which is what it is now, you can set it to horizontal, and you'll notice that we are now stacking these uh, elements horizontally. This isn't quite the look I want in my application, so I think I'm going to use uh, a wrap panel. And what wrap panel does is it just wraps the elements on, onto lines. So at this width, every, every single photo fits on one line, but as I increase the zoom, uh, you'll see that not all the photos fit on a line and we end up with different line breaking. Uh, again, we still got an orientation property here, so I can also choose to do so vertically. And you'll see as I resize here, uh, we do rewrap. So that's, the, that's a first quick intro to uh, XAML. And now let's uh, use what we've learned and create something more sophisticated in part two.